Hi, I wanted to make a video uh, to help those of you who are looking at the exercise with oxygen training, EWOT. Um, I uh, have gotten very interested in it. I've been doing it for several months now um, and it's made a huge difference in me. Um, I'm 70 years old and um, fairly decent shape, but this has really turned things around. I, I feel so much better after uh, using this uh, system and this training. Um, lots more energy, lots of strength, no longer having uh, kind of, uh, you know, sore muscles or sore joints or any of those kind of things that were pretty much normal uh, prior to me starting this training. Uh, one of the things that puts people off from exercise with oxygen is the amount of money required to set up the system. And um, I came across uh, Ben Greenfield's uh, site and got some ideas there and then I've developed them further to, to a hack uh, that'll make the system extremely affordable, if not, I would say, cheap. Uh, one thing, of course, you're going to need, to need two pieces of equipment. One is the exercise equipment. Um, I would highly recommend a, um, a stepper machine versus a, a stationary bike because um, you want to get 15 minutes of really high intensity exercise. A bike will give it to you, but it won't give it to you to the level that a stepper will because a stepper, every step you have to lift your own weight. <clears throat> and that not only strengthens your bones, but it makes it a lot uh, quicker to get up to your, uh, to your pulse rate that you need. Uh, to to get the benefits, um, I found this um, stairmaster free climber on um, uh, Craigslist. Uh, ended up it's the um, well I can't see that from here, but anyway I think it's 4600 PT, and uh, I got it for 700 bucks on Craigslist. It's a really nice machine. Somebody's barely using it, and I would recommend that you if you're you know, kind of getting uh, a budget mind that you also uh, look at Craigslist for your whatever machine you have. But this this will deliver way more intensity exercise in a shorter amount of time than a stationary bike, and of course, way more than any kind of uh, treadmill. So um, uh, look at that. The other thing that you're going to need, uh, piece of equipment wise, is going to be your oxygen uh, concentrator. Um, now, I would highly recommend that you. Uh, you get online and um, um, I'll put up the site. I've got a few things. This is the um, oxygen con uh, oxygen plus concentrators, and you can buy a. Um, uh, used one uh, that's been refurbished as you can see for about $395. I would highly recommend that you just go to a 5 liter per minute rather than a 10. I bought a 10 because I didn't know at the time that I didn't need it. Uh, but since you're going to be filling your bag with oxygen and it how much time it takes is not a not a question. Um, then you can go to the five and you'll be just fine and save yourself, you know, hundreds of dollars that way. So by refurbished, these oxygen concentrators are good after they've been refurbished for twenty five thousand hours, which is probably several lifetimes uh, given the amount of hours that you actually spend if you're an EWAT uh, user of it. The other thing that you're going to uh, uh, need of course is going to be your reservoir. Um, this is the bag that I use. Um, it's a, uh, uh, I went to Walmart and found a, um, a mattress cover that's uh, queen size and I'll show you that where you can buy that for just about 12 bucks. Um, this is the Walmart website, $12. It's a uh, vinyl, um, waterproof, uh, zippered. And um, as you can see, it's about $12, and pretty much any Walmart will have that in stock. Um, it's a very good vinyl. Uh, as you can see on the package, it says improved, stronger zipper, and heavier material. So it actually has pretty uh, high durability, uh, very, definitely enough for the EWAT uh, machine. And um, I hung it uh, with these little uh, clips that you can also get at Walmart because you just need to clip the corners there. 
uh, to get yourself a, uh, a hanging bag and uh, this will of course fill from your oxygen uh, generator. Now the way you're going to fill it well just to prepare the bag um, when you get it home um, of course you're going to need to to put in your adapter that's going to uh, go to your oxygen uh, concentrator and here's an example of the of what I did um, I can get this uh, just get yourself some half inch PVC cut a couple of three inches of it uh, this you force through a small hole in your in your uh, bag to, uh, I put it in the lower corner where it'll be close to the concentrator then you're just going to get a um, um, a coupler half inch uh, PVC coupler and you shove that down over the both the material and the um, uh, and the pipe to make a seal fit and you might want to put a couple of pieces of tape around just to make sure it seals and this is the other thing you're going to have to buy which is a CPAP oxygen enhancer uh, and uh, I also tape it to a piece of uh, PVC pipe that way you can shove that in here and that's how you attach this adapter uh, to your bag as you can see that's how I have it here and this tube of course goes uh, to the concentrator and that's how you fill your fill your bag with oxygen um, I'll show you the, um, the adapter you can get them on eBay for about six bucks shipped um, here's the ad on uh, on eBay as you can see about $6.95 all shipped and it's this uh, uh, CPAP adapter with an oxygen uh, tube adapter uh, included in there you can need that to fill your bag um, when you when you get your bag after you've installed your uh, your your, um, your adapter in there then you're going to have to seal seal that zipper and what I used is silicon here's the uh, uh, some GE silicon seal um, this this stuff is excellent and it will if you really uh, make sure that you've covered the zipper fully um, I'd, I'd leave it to to cure after you seal the zipper for about oh well, probably overnight so that you make sure that it's it's fully dried and fully uh, cured and doesn't have any any chemicals coming off as far as chemicals coming off one of the things that people are concerned about and I think needing to be <coughs> is the chemicals that are coming from the uh, from the uh, bag material this is vinyl and what you can do what I did is I set it out in the sun after I got it out of the bag uh, spread it out set it, <laughs> set it out in the sun for about Oh, two hours or so. Then I un unzipped it, um, pulled it inside out, and let the inside uh, cook out there for a couple of hours. And that pretty well off-gassed anything that could be in the vinyl. <clears throat> so I would highly recommend that you give it a little time to to get rid of any uh, packaging material, any kind of gassing that that could be coming out of the plastic there. Okay, so once you have this. Uh, um, uh, set up. I found with a 10 liter it takes me about an hour to fill my bag. This is a queen size uh, mattress cover about uh, about an hour and the way that I found to make that easy is to use a um, is to use one of these mechanical uh, timer devices. So you just turn that timer device plug your plug your concentrator into the timer device and set it for an hour if you have a five liter it will probably be about two hours but then you just walk off and it'll turn it off and won't overfill your bag this vinyl bag is pretty forgiving so <laughs> if you do uh, have a problem and it uh, it overfills it'll give you a lots of it'll fill and uh, uh, give lots of uh, slack to to uh, give you some time before it starts to pop so probably won't be able to pop it uh, for quite a few hours of, of uh, concentrator pressure I think that's about it um, I have found because I live in Texas it's pretty hot 
but even with air conditioning I found that these fans work excellent to keep me uh, cool uh, while I'm on the machine um, I use I do it for 15 minutes which is the recommended amount and um, uh, with the uh, Stairmaster you have the uh, pulse indicator to where you can kind of see how your pulse is doing. I like to keep mine above 120 when I'm going on that. The other thing that I would recommend too, well I know that the uh, uh, Live uh, O2 has a switch there where they can um, you can adjust your oxygen amount in your breathing so that you can give, get kind of hypoxic, make your body open up, stress the body open up, and therefore uh, have more oxygen when you turn it back on pure oxygen, more oxygen go into your body. Well, I found that that's really unnecessary and probably an expense you don't need to incur because uh, you can get hypoxic real easily and cheaply by just holding your breath. So um, what I've found to, uh, that works really well, and you can feel it uh, when you do it, is uh, about every minute or two minutes, hold your breath for about 10 seconds. That'll get your body at this level of exercise quite hypoxic. And when you start to breathe the oxygen, you can actually feel it. It's quite a be a... Uh, uh, the, the, all the systems have opened up in your body to where it's very much accepting of any oxygen that's included there. Anyway, I think I've covered everything, so uh, if you have uh, um, any questions, you can include it on, your, on, the, uh, on the page there. Um, but um, I would highly recommend that you do this. I found immediate results uh, from doing it. I was only going to do it three times a week and I found I do it every day because I like the results it gives me. It, it kind of starts my day out on the right foot and uh, I just feel so much better. I, I can't even relate to what my body used to feel like before uh, engaging this. So uh, good luck with the system. Thank you.